And action. Welcome to YouTube Sober the Gossip News with me and Tommy. Tommy, what is going on? What is going on? Well, we just got a snowstorm here where I live and the Super Bowl is just around the corner on February 7th and Valentine's Day shortly after that. For all you lovebirds out there, you know, uh, Valentine's Day is coming up like Tommy said. Who's excited for uh, a little love of it out there? But until then, we got some YouTube celebrity gossip news. What's going to work? And here we go. Welcome back, everyone. So, Tommy, got to ask, uh, what's happening this week? What's happening around the world and social media? Okay. Uh, Jojo Siwa, former student of Abby uh, Lee Miller from Dance Moms, uh, now YouTube sensation and star of Nickelodeon, has recently come out as being part of the LGBTQ plus community. Uh, and because of this, she has surmised that the paparazzi out in LA called in a false claim, basically uh, where it's called swatting, where you, you say that something wrong is going on in a house. Uh, and usually this is done as a prank. Uh, and it's going to be very, very deadly and go really wrong. Luckily, her situation, uh, no one got hurt. But just to let you know, there's this Tyler who plays Call of Duty who did do this prank and got, a man got killed uh, by the cops. So don't do it. And he's now serving 20 years right now. So it's very dangerous. Don't do it. Uh, there are other ways to get those uh, $100 photos that you want if you're paparazzi or if you're just, a, or if you're just an average person. Just not something to do because it's a waste of taxpayer money. They have to pay the cops no matter what. Uh, the paper trip, the paperwork, the resources, that's extra wear and tear on the cars and stuff. And it's in LA, so it's gonna be a little more expensive and stuff to uh, keep a police force running of that size. So there's that part of it. So she believes that this is all stemming from her coming out as part of that community. And as of right now, she's still exploring it. So she doesn't know where she falls in that spectrum. But uh, right now, she's just happy uh, with her life as it is right now. So she hasn't divulged any more information about that. And her fans, as of right now, are very supportive of her, are happy for her. Well, I'm glad her fans are very supportive of what's happening. Um, for the case may be that, you know, that, you know, the cops are called and that's just a little messed up and it shouldn't be happening, but it is happening and telling the paparazzi uh, as far as the press goes. Um, you know, a false claim and everything, and I don't agree with that whatsoever, but it does happen on um, social media, and as far as your celebrity goes, that does happen to most of your YouTube or even social media celebrities. Whatever your reason, if you are going to be doing this, whether it's because of a prank or if you're a paparazzi and you want to get that shot because of something that a celebrity or a, or a YouTuber has, or someone in that spectrum, that you want to get that, that shot that's going to get you the money because they, they dropped a big, big life-changing uh, thing uh, out to the public. Uh, whatever, or if you're just someone who's doing it because you think it's funny or you don't like what that person's uh, sexuality is, whatever it is, you should do it. Yeah, you could be mad or angry. And if you want that shot, just wait. Because she even said in her Instagram video that she would have probably come out eventually. So if they just waited patiently, she would have come out on her own. Right, I agree. To wrap it up, she had been hitting over uh, the last couple, uh, like a week or so, um, by uh, that she was going to be uh, dropping this big information of her coming out uh, uh, by dancing to uh, in TikTok to Lady Gaga's born this way song as well as other things where uh, there's a picture of her wearing a shirt from her cousin saying the best gay cousin ever 
Uh, so she had kind of been hinting about this for a while, and she finally dropped the information. And she said she's just she's just happy living life. Direct us all up with me. I agree. I'm glad she's happy, and I'm glad that she's moving on and doing bigger and better things. We will drop a link in the description down below if you want to look at Tommy's story. Um, all about this. The link will be down, like I said, on the section down below. Moving on, we have Hank Aaron, Tommy. Um, everybody knows that Hank Aaron has passed away. And not only that, since Hank Aaron passed away before that, prior to his death, he uh, actually got the vaccine shot. And everybody's talking about Hank Aaron. Um, if there is something in the vaccine, that he had a reaction with about the vaccine shot. And um, actually he didn't. His doctor comes out and says that it's something else that he died of. And basically um, that nobody should be afraid to take this vaccine because it's safe and it's going to help you along the way um, survive and fight the COVID and everything. So... Um, his driver also said um, the days prior to his death, Aaron was fine, Aaron was great, um, nothing was wrong with him. He wasn't hesitant about his breathing, so it just happened just like that. Yeah, I think it's wrong to jump to conclusions uh, just because someone got a vaccine shot or, or something else happened prior to them passing away. I just, it's wrong to jump to conclusions. And then the fact that his doctor had to get ahead of this before it snowballed out of uh, out of control or domino out of control, whichever terminal you want to use. Uh, I'm really glad that his doctor was able to, uh, that administered it, uh, was able to say, no, no, this was, had nothing to do with uh, the vaccine. He had, that he had no reaction. So that was great um, that, you know, he's going to be missed in the baseball world. He's a baseball hall of famer. So it'd be certainly missed. Uh, for Major League Baseball for his career. He did break a lot of records like Babe Ruth's record uh, as well as lots of other uh, major accomplishments as a professional baseball player. Not only that, you guys can look at the story down in the section down below, follow it on Team Z, go to Team Z's uh, uh, website, take a look at the story yourself. And, uh, and in the meantime, Tommy, what can people do? They can like this video and help us out in the algorithm. They can subscribe, and after you subscribe, hit that notification bell because it lets you know we post more videos. If you are subscribed, hit that notification bell because it'll let you know we post more videos. And share it with your friends. So, we will be back again, and we will see you guys later. This has been a Talk Level Media. Stay safe out there and leave a comment down below. All right, bye for now. Bye.